Hey questers, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest XI. We're on the main menu, and the reason is, it's a different background. Now that we've unlocked the boat, it seems to have changed the, uh, the, the you know, the background. So that's cool. I just thought I'd show that. And uh, we're going to continue our adventure today from the Gondolia Church. I think that was right, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, last time we had to deal with Jasper. He, uh, he captured Eric and was going to do all sorts of nasty shit to him, but uh, thankfully we rescued him and now we're out in the open waves. The open ocean waves. Well, we will be soon. I just wanted to uh, do a couple of things before we set off to wherever it is we're heading in search of the rainbow. Uh, I want to update some of my equipment. Um, I, I am trying to take into account some of your suggestions, guys, on what I should and shouldn't show. Uh, so, in future, if I'm going to be reworking any armor, I'm probably not going to show that. As well as uh, repetitive uh, enemy encounters that we've seen a million times before. But anything new that I make, I will show. And anything new that I buy, I will show. Um, might do some leveling in a new area soon, maybe. But apart from that, it's pretty much just as we have been doing it so far, you know? It's, it's a blind playthrough, so I'm not going to be, like, really knowing too... I, that's the thing. I don't know the best way to play this game. It's the, my first time, so... Bear with me when I do stupid shit. Which I will do quite a lot. Uh, right, what I wanted to do actually first was go back to the Western Checkpoint with the letter from Ikea, but I'm not sure if I can... Can I zoom there? Hmm... I don't think I can. I'm trying to think which one was, like, the closest... Will that campsite be closest? Uh, it was actually more near the, uh... Galopolis, wasn't it? Hmm. We're going to head to the South Galopolis campsite and see if we can just horsey our way there quickly. In fact, I'll probably just meet you guys there, because we're just handed in the quest. There's not much else to do. Alright, here we are. This is the gentleman. Oh, you have returned. Did you see my sister? How is she? Is she well? Uh, it is. Uh, a letter from my dearest Akia. A thousand thank yous for bringing it to me. I cannot wait to see what it says. Um, thank you for uh, also for the money. I know it cannot be easy for you to have to support us both. If it uh, were not for your assistance, I would be unable to follow my dream of becoming a baker. She's lying. I am learning so much here. Only the other day, my master mentioned how much I had improved. I will continue to work hard, Hakeem. I want you to be proud of me. With all my love, Akia. Oh, she sounds as though she's doing well and working hard. Well, she is, just not in the way that you think she is. Uh, our father did not treat us well. Oh, that sucks. He was once a kind and gentle man, but then he suffered a terrible injury, which made him horribly bitter. Uh, oh. Well, this got very depressing very quickly. Hmm. Well, yeah, she seems to be doing okay. I'm indebted to you for delivering it to me. Please accept this by way of thanks. And yep, yeah, more recipes, it seems. Broader swords. Oh my god, broad swords and broader swords. Lovely. Battle forks and rose whips. So maybe I kind of wasted some money buying a new whip for Sylve, if I can make a new one now anyway. Uh, we'll quickly go check the campsite. It's right around the corner. We'll see if we can make anything new. And if not, we'll just head straight to the port and get on our boat. And I can't wait. I cannot wait to explore the ocean. So, let me hop off my horsey. And we'll check out the forge. Right, so, uh, no, not that. Great sword. So we could make a broader sword. 
with that one pitch pearl that we have. But again, I'm not really using broadswords, and it wouldn't. Uh, broadswords, great swords. And it wouldn't give me that much more attack. Um, battle fork. You see, I could. I, I'm so tempted to give Serena a spear instead of a wand, but she's more of a magic user, so I really don't know if I should do that. And it would actually use one of the eyes that we've got, the yellow eye. Hmm, an attack would shoot up, but I don't know. Uh, whips. Rose Whip. Well, we can definitely make that. It would use up most of our materials. An attack would shoot up by 10. So, you know what? I'm gonna do it. And as I said, anything new that I make, I will show. Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's a lot of... That's a lot of bars. Okay, let's try... Uh... Debledged. On... Those two. Okay. Another double-edged on the top. It's okay. Oh, nice, nice. That's okay. Um... This one left. And then the bottom one. Oh, nice. That's what we wanted. What a good way to finish. That's got to be a plus two, maybe, I'd say. Yeah, it's not perfection. A plus two. Yeah, excellent. Alrighty. So, do I want to make any new armor? Can I make anything new? Make a new helmet for Sylve? Nah. Still can't make any of that stuff. That's not quite as good, really. I mean, Eric could definitely use some better equipment. Hmm. We'll, get, we'll make him a Nine Curious. Someone commented saying Eric was quite squishy in that fight that we did. That we could have won. Um, I just, I was crap, so. <laughs> and I did get kind of unlucky with the critical hit on Mage to just completely take him out of the fight. So, I'm not going to cry too much about it. Uh, let's do double-edged. Ah, oh, crap. Fuck that up. God damn it. Oh, God damn it! Sorry, Eric, we're fucking this up for you big time, matey, aren't we? My bad. Ooh, so close. Let's do another lightning one on the top one. Ugh. Yeah, this is pretty terrible. <laughs> Sorry, dude. And he took that, that spell for us as well. He took the hit. Sacrificed himself, almost. And all we can make is a standard bog, standard shitty little thing for him. I'm sorry, Eric. But it is better than what you've got now, so... And yeah, if I'm going to rework it, I'll do that off-screen. Let's give people the new shit. Yeah, that, that new whip's rather tasty looking. Oh, yes. Um, Eric... Instead of the Templar's uniform, which still is pretty good. We want you with more defense, buddy. So, there we go. Right. Uh, I think I'm going to rework some of this stuff off-screen later. Okay. Right. Well, I guess we'll... Uh, can we zoom from here, from a campsite? Oh, we can just go straight to the Gondolia Sea. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well, let's do it then. Ah, right, so. We're going to be on a boat. Oh, always one of those amazing first steps in a JRPG where you get a little bit of freedom. You know, your own mode of transport, whether it be a car in like FFA or a or a ship usually, and then 
Eventually you get a, f a means of flying, but here we go. So, we've got our own little uh, boaty world map here. Several places we could make port. It's a little island, actually, in the middle of... In the middle of nowhere. Let's check this place out. I have no idea what this place is. Obviously, I've never played the game before. Insula Australis. I wonder if this place is going to be full of nasty enemies. Ooh. Oh yeah, a bunch of new stuff here. Alright, let's check the map for... Uh, sparkly spots. Okay. So there should be one right here. Royal soil? Oh, this is nice. I bet this looks really nice during the day. Okay, so the others are... Oh, there's... I think there's a lot... Yeah, there's another one of those sealed doors as well. Right, let's see how tough these things are. I mean, the, the, we have seen these types of enemies before, but are they the same? That is the question. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. Are they just wizened wizards and uh, were tigers? Oh yeah, they are. Okay, so we have seen these before. I'm going to show this fight anyway because it's in a new place. Ooh, that damage already. What an improvement. Uh, let's just take out the wizard. Definitely want a new sword for mage, though. May heaven's winds propel thee hence! That didn't do much damage. Oh no! They've knocked the sisters over. They're gonna miss a turn. That sucks. Okay. So we don't really need to worry about the monsters Veronica on this place. Wins again. Of course she does, Veronica. Veronica always wins. Because Veronica is epic. That was good XP, though. Uh, is there any other... Let's go check out the other shinies. There might be a chest around, who knows. Anything... Oh, yeah. More wave weed? Ah, there is a chest in there, but I reckon we can't get that until we open the door. Which sucks. Oh, another target! Keep an eye out for them. That was quite hidden. Which reminds me, I should really go back to places I've already been and get the rest of those that we've already seen. Like this one at that fisherman's hut place, and then the first one we saw near the devil chest. Fairy fluff. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Fairy fluff. So that's pretty much all we can get here. That's okay. Let's go check out the door. Yeah, we're not getting inside there for a while. Even though Veronica could probably fit through that gap, I'm just saying. Alright, anything else? Sleeping goblin dude. Anything on the beach? Nope. Okay, so yeah, not much, not much else going on here. That's alright. 
How do we get back to the boat? All right, Dave. <laughs> Watch your bus. Back aboard the stallion, then, is it? Certainly is, Dave. Dave. Huh. I wonder how Dave and Sylv got in together, eh? I wonder if we'll ever learn that. All right, well, I'm guessing that is where we're supposed to go. Straight ahead. Well, kind of straight ahead. Oh, I love the little hourglass slime thing. So, yeah, it looks like we could go... We could go a number of places, but is it really wise to do so yet? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. No, that... That pink thing must be where we need to go. So what's over here, then? Oh, random encounters on the open seas. Oh, it's totally the thing that was in the waterfall cave in uh, in Dragon Quest VIII. I can't remember what his name was, but he kept getting his, his mucky words fuddled. Oh, you pissed her off now, guys. You're in for a world of pain. Oh, they are strong as hell, man. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sylvan and Veronica are in danger. So yeah, it looks like random encounters are a thing on the ocean. Which, uh, you know, I don't I don't really miss random encounters in games when they get rid of them, but they don't bother me too much. Fine, we could probably just kill these things. There we go. Right. How much XP for that? 343. Not too bad. Level 18 for Veronica. And she learns Kasap. So yeah, I probably will do some leveling out on the seas. And I want to check this place out. Uh, let's do a handy heal all. And I've been told to try this when you're fully healed. Nothing happens. Everyone's almost at full health anyway. Oh! I just got a trophy! For worrying too much. Nice. Oh well, thank you. I completely forgot who commented that as well. I suck. I really do. But thank you. You know who you are. Costa Valor. I don't think. Have we heard of this place before? No, oh, we'll check it out anyway. If I can procrastinate and not go to where the story tells me to in an RPG, you're goddamn right I'm going to do it. Have a sip of my water. Right, let's check this place out then. New enemies! Smackers. Ugh. Oh, God. Let's heat things up. Oh, fires off a big, wet, sloppy one. Oh, no. No, thank you. That whip is awesome. Donk. What a finisher. What's everyone's XP looking like? Mage is close. 
no one else is really. And Eric as well, actually. Okay, so. Bit of Valor. Very close by. I think we're heading to a dead end here, but there might be something good. Oh my word. It's another one of those coral things. In a chest. Is he going to be super tough? I think he might be super tough. Oh no! I didn't get a preemptive on him. Oh, look at that little thing! I remember you! Squid Kid! <laughs> oh, little Squid Kid. Um, let's get their defense reduced. And get a nice whoosh. Right, now it's just me and the big boy. Oh, you nasty man. That was not nice. Oh, that did barely anything to him. Yeah, I don't think uh, Serena... I mean, she does use quite a bit of MP, but that little bit every turn does help. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just whoosh. May heaven's winds propel thee hence! Oh, that was good damage. Ooh. Major nice buff. Try sapping him again. <laughs> Look the way she does that, building up her spell power. The Veronica, you're just so cute, man. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, Veronica's lost a pep. Shit. I should have really paid attention to that. Oh well. Um. Sister. And finish it off, mage. There you go. Score one for the good guys. Nice. Alright, let's see what's in here. Better be something amazing. A tortoise shell. Alright, we can give that to someone then. Let's check mage. Not that I want to get rid of this armor yet, but... Oh, it is slightly better defense. We'd lose a lot of charm. Oh, something attack it? Oh my god. <laughs> I'll stay away from you, just for now. Thank you very much. Um, who can actually wear it, though? Can Eric equip it? Oh, we totally can. So, that replaces what we just made for him straight away. Cool. Grab that shiny. Excuse me. Maiden's favor. Doesn't that sound fancy? That's oh, the ghost penguin. That must mean there's something nearby. Oh, this is so nice. This is so pretty. Is there anything? Oh. Oh god, what are those? Another coral dude. I'm going to have to fight him. I'm going to have to fight this thing. No, not that one. Don't attack that one, you... Oh. <laughs> god damn it. I think the crossbow's more of a hindrance at the moment. Oh 
shit. Well, at least that didn't work. Miasma. Alright, Veronica, let's do a nice bang spell. In fact, I should have reduced the defense first. Um, flame Slash, get rid of the Smacker. Reheal on Veronica, because she's probably going to get some serious damage soon. And... In fact, we'll buff her as well. No, no we won't. We won't need to. We're just going to whoosh. May heaven's winds propel thee hence! Oh, that was good. Nice one, Serena. Yeah, these... Oh, my word. These mermen are definitely the toughest ones we've seen so far. Without a doubt. Realize he was so close to dying, actually. Otherwise, I wouldn't have wasted that oomph spell. Ah, Eric is now level 18. No new spells, but skill points. Alright, well, as there is a shiny over there, I'm gonna run and grab. And pray to God that I can avoid this dude. Oh, they are chasing me. What's this way? Ooh, where is this go? Oh, that's just leading to the next... Right, okay, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to check out this, this city or town first. What does this sign say? Let's just be on this hill. Right, cool. Ooh, got a big birdie up there somewhere. Um... Alright, okay, so I can press square to do that quickly. Again, someone commented that and I completely forgot the name. I'm so sorry. Is that a slime knight? It is a slime knight! Yes! I love these guys! I hope they're not too tough. Oh, helm splitter! Classic attack. Oh my lord, they are quite tough. Okay. Let's have our wits about us here. Alright, two down. That's much more manageable. How much XP? Easy peasy. 368, not too bad. Mage is level 18. Yeah, I'm going to spend some time leveling around here. Oh my lord, that looks terrifying. Christ on a cracker, that looks scary. Well, I'm going to take it on. Over here, you. Gnore, gnore kids. <laughs> gnore kids, sorry, not orchid. Gnore. Who, oh my god. I just made a complete fucking idiot out of myself. Gnore. It's a silent G mage. G whiz. Sears. Now that's gotta be good against these guys. Oh yeah, they do not like that. God damn it. Ooh. Well, goodbye, my friend. Let's heat things up. Oh, oh wow. Well. Okay, I expected him to die, but not quite. Now he's dead. 
They look scary as hell, man. Only 170 XP, though. Yeah. I suppose there's only two of them, though. Right, uh... Should I... Check out this town? Lovely fields of flowers. This is so pretty! I'll come back out and explore the rest of this. I just want to see if this place has got any new equipment or... Are you, can we even explore this place? Is this what... You know what? I'm getting confused, because, like... Is this story-wise where we're supposed to go? I really can't remember. But there was the pink exclamation thing on the map, way, way, way to the north. Which would make me think that that's where we need to go. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, he's got a casino! Oh, yeah. I'd freaking live here, mate. You're goddamn right I would. I just got a freaking bar just jamming out on the bridge. Welcome! Our town is famous for its casino and uh, for the many tourists who come to gamble here. Maybe you should pay it a visit too. I freaking think you. I think you hit the nail right on the head there, mate. Uh, standing above the Valor Sauvage Channel. Flows out of the city, across the Champs Sauvage. I'm probably saying that wrong. And into the open sea. Uh, that is why it is known as the Gateway to Erdrea. It grants ships from the Inner Kingdoms access to the uh, the ocean waves. Cool, cool. Oh, wow. I'm loving your look. That's the kind of good taste you don't see every day, and I should know. Now, since you're here, I've got to share this tip with you. There's all sorts of armor and accessories in the world, right? Right? Well, only some of them are stylish enough to change your look. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing one right now. Oh, thanks, dude. Oh, that's a good job I spoke to him. Learn how to make cute caps, bonnie bands, and pretty pinnies. Dainty dresses. Dress your girlfriend up in the hats and outfits in there, and watch them transform before your very eyes. Yeah, come to think of it, it's only Sylve and Eric that don't have anything changing their look right now. That's cool. Thanks, man. The city of blossoms and sea breeze. No one has bluer water or whiter sands than we do. No, senor. Uh, are you looking for a merchant? One carrying a rainbow-colored branch? Or maybe this is where we're supposed to go, then. Don Rodrigo's Villa. The villa is at the bottom of these stairs on the left. It is the biggest building in the town. You can't miss it. Right, well, at least we can zoom back here whenever we want now. You know what I've just remembered? I remember that Bodkin Archer dude at the campsite said to talk to someone in Galopolis. And they never did. Sugar. Maybe I should go do that. Hmm. Like I say, we can always zoom back here whenever we want now, so that's fine. I'm going to do that quickly, see if we can find who he was on about. I feel like I have so many options, I don't know what to do next. It's a nice feeling, but it's also like... It <laughs> for the purpose of a let's play, I really don't know if it's going to be annoying when I change my mind every two seconds. That's what happens when you play a game blind for the first time on uh, on camera, so to speak. Right, so did he say? I honestly can't remember. Uh, oh, uh, yes, it is. Yes. What an honor! Your performance was truly magnificent. Oh, you're just going to tell me about the races? Yeah, I've done all that. Hey, I've done all that. There's apparently a dude near the entrance, unless it's outside of Golopolis. No, I'm not sure. I should have looked this up, really. 
I can't even remember which campsite the dude was at that I spoke to. Is there anyone outside? Hmm, no, not really. Hmm. Right, I'll, I'll bear with me one moment, guys. I'm going to just quickly see if I can find where this guy is. Right, uh, I think I know where this chap is we need to talk to. He's on the upper level of Galopolis, wearing a hood. And once we talk to him, that can kick off the rest of the quest to find the targets and stuff. This must be the guy. This has got to be the guy. Isn't that a crack shot crossbow you have there? You must be him. The one I've been looking for. You must be the crossbow kid. Uh, no? But yeah, sure. I am Bo. Uh, <laughs> crossbow. Wow. But most know me as the crossbow crack shot. If there is any... Is the, if there is one thing I love, it's crossbows. In fact, in my efforts to share my love with the world, I've hidden targets all over Erdrea. Just for such as such a one as yourself to practice your marksmanship on. So, dearest crossbow kid, what say you? Are you ready to embark on an adventure that will take you around the world and put your skills to the test? Yes, I am. I knew you would agree. I uh, could feel just how much you were itching to make good use of your trusty crossbow. But before you run off to begin your adventure, let me explain the basics. The rules are simple. In each of the regions, five crossbow targets have been hidden. Uh, in each of these areas, one of my apprentices, Bodkin, uh, Bowyers, yeah, we've seen them. Uh, the campsites. So you get five, you can claim a prize. If you see a target, put a bolt in it. Alrighty. Anyway, enough chatter from me. Go forth, crossbow kid, and face your destiny. So yeah, we will be doing this, guys, but um, not right now. I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget about that dude, because uh, I completely forgot about that dude <laughs> until right now. So yeah, let's zoom back to uh, wherever it was we just were. Port Valor, or Puerto Valor. I just, all these hard-to-say names. So yeah, I'm guessing this must be where we need to be. I can't remember what the recap said at the beginning when I loaded it up, because I didn't really read it, so... My bad. Oh, just, I'm loving this game so much. Hey, can you tell? Can you tell? I really, really freaking like this game. Okie dokie. So, first of all, we'll just have a general mooch around the place. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. Uh, are you saying that because I'm wearing the Galopolis stuff, or...? Hmm. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. I've heard it all before. Right. This is a lovely place. I want to be a great knight like Sir Hendrick, so I decided to come to Puerto Valor because I heard that this was where he trained. Oh, is it? Oh, shit. I wonder if we come across him. Better go through with it. I made a promise to my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is the inn. Let's check that out. It's a very nice establishment. Can I loot the place? Anything. Aha, cabinet. Wayfarer's clothes. Again, not really going to be much use to me now. Yeah, very nice Mediterranean vibes from this. This is awesome. Definitely could use a bit of... Oh no, money-wise, we're not doing too bad, actually. I thought we were much poorer than that, for some reason. Alright. Let's check out the shops. I can't wait to check out the casino. Oh my god. Loved the casino in Dragon Quest VIII. 
Hello. Many of Don Rodrigo's students buy their weapons from our shop. We are well known for our sharp edges. Now. Let's see. Steel broadsword. That was, that's, that's just a one-handed one. Okay. 2,000 gold. A lolly stick. On the edge boomerang, I remember you. And the eagle dagger. Some cool looking weapons. Water more wand. I mean, some of these would be better. And I could rework them and make them even better. Um, I'm not sure if I want to spend this much money though. The Eagle Dagger would be awesome for Eric, but it's so expensive. And I might find recipes in this town for some other stuff, so... We'll bear, we'll bear this in mind. We will be back, probably. What about the armor? The sea is filled with terrible monsters, but you have no need to worry. My armor will always keep you safe. Yeah, that massive squid thing that attacked us was a tad scary. Steel shield. Ooh, yeah. Would be nice. Feather headband. So much good stuff. Cloak of evasion. Full plate armor. Which actually wouldn't be that much better than the one I've got, but. Very tempted by that steel shield. Ooh, I just don't know. Or a bronze helmet for Eric. And... Ugh, so much to buy. I guess I can probably make this stuff, but I just don't know. I'm gonna buy a steel shield, fuck it. Would you like to yes, we'll swap out the bronze shield. There we go. Right. That's all I'm gonna buy for now. Hello. Aren't you lovely? For an adventurer, every port is a new story waiting to be told. An old saying, but a true one. You should never turn down the chance to explore new places. Hell yeah! Don't you worry, I'm gonna explore the shit out of this game. Anything up here? Ooh, books. A diary of Tetsu the Smith. Oh, he's gotta give me some recipes in this, surely. A dream dies. Oh. That sounds sad. My name is Tetsu. I am 48 years old. I am a blacksmith. Black disappointment. The medal school forbids men. It is a girl's school. A guard at the gate bars the path to... Ins oh, this dude's totally from Hotter. Um. Okay, well, he didn't give me any recipes, the stingy git. Hola. Uh, you came here by boat, see? Did you maybe see a strange column of light coming out of the ocean? No, I didn't, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. It appears when the power of the sea deity cannot be contained. They say that it leads down into a hidden underwater kingdom. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Dude, we have to find this hidden underwater kingdom. We totally do. That sounds awesome. That was really cool. Right, plenty more to explore. So, oh, there's a quest actually around the corner as well. Don't mind me, madame, I'm just uh, looting a red eye from your. Uh, Closet, wardrobe, panacea. What does that do? What does that do? Oh, it's probably been given to someone. Who will it have gone to? Uh. Oh, it's gone to Sylve. Okay. Uh, cures an ally of paralysis and poison. Restores at least 90 HP. Nice. Very nice. My boy, he is taking the nightly training with Don Rodrigo. I 
worry for him. Each night when he comes home, he is so exhausted he goes straight to bed. That's, that's fascinating. Fascinating. Alright, let's uh, stop off at the church because I'm probably going to end the video here, guys. I'm going to save after I have a look around first. If there's any place I like to loot, it's a church. Hmm, there's not much going on. You've heard about the fall of Dundrasil? Uh, yeah, apparently I was there. Of course, everybody knows that sorry tale. People here in Point of Valor are very shocked when it happened. They say it was the Darkspawn who summoned the monster that destroyed the city. The same Darkspawn that is now on the loose. And I believe them. The forces of darkness have grown more powerful. With each day that has passed since his reappearance, I only hope they catch him soon. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. I'm gonna sort it all out. I'm gonna fix shit. Or I'm... My name isn't the Luminary. Alright, there's nothing out here, is there? Oh, no! Hello, Mr. Hidden Chest! A seed of Therapeusis? What the fuck does that do? A nifty nut that permanently increases magical mending by a little. Ah, well that would be very good for uh, Serena. We're going to give that to you. Increase by two. Sweet. Sweet as a gnat. Right. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, we're going to continue to explore this new town. And, uh... I mean, maybe... Yeah, again, maybe this is where we're supposed to be, story-wise. But I want to check out the casino. We're going to do a lot of stuff before we progress with the plot. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, so yeah, hope you look forward to that. And I will see you next time.